Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will learn about CSS borders and CSS colors. So without wasting time, let's get started. We have the welcome to chapter 2 text. Alright, now first we are going to talk about CSS colors. Earlier we already, you know, played with a lot of colors, right? Let's go to style.css. The first color that we played was this targeting the whole HTML document and then we did something called as background color of pink. If I save it, as you can see, we have the pink color for our whole HTML file. Secondly, we can do many things. For example, we have this h1 tag. So we are going to target this. So I'll write h1 and then give it a color. Let's say a color of something like brown. I'll save it. And as you can see, it becomes brown. It is not visible. So we need some better color. Maybe blue will do. Yeah. So we have this in blue color. All right, so the, basically we can use multiple colors to design our web pages. For example, similarly, we can have a div and this div can have multiple things. For example, an h2 tag saying this is a div and it can also have a paragraph tag. So a paragraph tag, let's write some major text in basically in VS code, you can write lorem and then the number of words you want so for example 30 it will give you random 30 words when i hit enter something like this i'll save it and we have a heading and then we have some paragraph text all right we can even target this one for example for the h2 i want the color to be white i save it and as you can see it becomes white similarly for the paragraph tag i want some different color let's say i want the color to be aqua I'll save it and, it and it becomes aqua. It's not really visible. So let's just change it to something else. If you hover over this color, as you can see, you can just select it from the bar as well. Something like this, right? So let's have some maybe yellow color. I'll save it and it becomes yellow. It's really not visible. So let's just keep it to black, right? So this is how we can use colors and these and there are not only these red, pink, blue, white, green color in CSS. There are actually a lot of colors in CSS. For example, instead of the background color to pink, I can write something right red. So it becomes red or maybe a good color is tomato, light red. I'll save it. And as you can see, it becomes the tomato color. We have many other color here. As you can see, you can hover over here and then you can select the color. And from here, you can select the transparency. For example, I'll write this. As you can see, it becomes less transparent. Okay, so we have these different types of color. Let this be to pink now. So using background color, we can specify the background color of an element. And using just the color property, we can specify the text color basically, right? Now, this, this is a div is not visible in white. So let me just remove this styling. And yeah, it's now visible in black. Now, we can also have borders for our elements. We have h1, we have div, we have h2, a paragraph tag. We can have, for all of these, we can have borders. For example, if I want to have a border for this h1, welcome to chapter 2, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a property called as border. Now, inside borders, we have to pass three values. First will be the size of the border. For example, I want it to be 10 pixels. Second will be the type of border. There are different types of borders. If I type it, as you can see, we have something called solid. And then I can size color of the border. In this case, let me write black for now. And if I save it, as you can see, we have a border which is 10 pixels in size and it is of solid type and the color is black. We have multiple types. We have a dotted one also, something like this. If I save it, as you can see, we have a dotted border. We can also change the size. For example, instead of 10, let me write two pixels. And as you can see, it becomes small. Let's now keep it solid and we have black and we can have multiple colors, for example, blue, right? Something like this. Now, let's say for the div, I want to give it a border. I will simply say border and then basically here i'm going to write let's say one px and then write solid and then write red if i save it as you can see our div has a border of red color that has a width of one pixel and it is of type solid now you will understand more about borders when we talk about css box model in the coming videos 
Now after the borders, we are going to talk about various color formats in CSS. We already know that this basic names of pink, blue, red, green, we cannot use all of these. But there are actually multiple types of formats for colors in CSS. First one is the simple names that you have this pink, blue, red, but there are also other values. Let's first talk about the RGB values. Now, for example, instead of this background color pink, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type RGB. Now this RGB stands for red, green, blue. All right. Once we do that, if you hit enter, as you can see, we have three values one first is of the red, second is of the green and third is of the blue. Now, for example, if I write zero for the green, blue zero and for the red, I'll write 255. If I save it, it becomes red color. That means if we have 255, the first value of red, it will be red color. Now, if I put it to zero and save it, it is black color. Now, if we only specify the greens value as 255, we save it, it becomes green color. Now, if we only specify the blues value as 255 and zero for all the two, for the other two and save it, it becomes blue color. That is red, green and blue, the short form for RGB. So basically, the RGB represents colors from 0 to 255. So how many colors would that be? Not 255, but 256 colors can be represented in this very format. So for example, I would select a random color here. Okay, let's select something like this, this light green. Okay. If I save it, as you can see, now this value of RGB gets us this one shade of green color. Now you may say, what is this value? This is a fourth value right here. What does this value mean? If you would want to know. Now this value means the transparency and it is selected by this second slider here. So how much transparent you want it to be? All the way from zero to all the way from this one. As you can see, if we write zero, that there is no transparency. If we go here, as you can see, 0 0.1, 0 0.0, and as you can see, it becomes transparent. So let us just make it a less transparent and save it. And we have something like this. Now, this is the first type of format that is RGB or RGBA. Now, we also have another type of format. Let me just comment it out and save it. And as you can see, it's again in the default white color. Another type of color format is I'll write background color and this time I'm going to talk about hexadecimal colors. Now, what is this hexadecimal colors? It basically starts with a hash. All right. And after that, we have six values. The first two values are for the red color. The second two values are for the green colors. And then the last two values are for the blue colors. Right. So, for example, if I write something like F, 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 F. So it's red for the first two, then the second two is green and the last two will be blue. If I save it, as you can see, it's white color. No problem. Now, let me just use the slider and have some different colors. For example, a blue color, something like this, or maybe a purple color. As you can see, it automatically changes, right? Oops. So let me just go here and select. So if I select here, as you can see, we have some different shades. Let me save it. And as you can see, it becomes purple color. So this is another value. This is another format and it is called as hexadecimal colors. Now, apart from this, there is one other also that is called as HSL or HSLA colors. Now this HSL basically stands for hue, saturation and lightness. So let me just comment it out and let me show you that this type of format as well. If I write color, sorry, if I write the background color, something like this and then I read H S L and I hit enter. As you can see, it has three values. It has hue, saturation and lightness. Now here we can have multiple values as well, right? So more on these colors, if you go to your browser and you simply search for a CSS colors and, and you hit enter, you will find the MDN web docs. These are very good documentations for all the web developer, development related uh, technologies. For example, the CSS, as you can see, they talk about different colors. Then they talk about standard colors. As you can see, we have the black and what is the RGB, the red, green, blue value for it. We have silver color for, so let's, uh, we have this gray color. Let me just use this gray color in my CSS. If I 
just let me just comment this one out and here inside this background color i will use this gray color so i'll just copy and paste it here and if i save it and go back to browser as you can see it becomes gray color so we have a lot of colors here as you can see with their hex with their rgb hex values as you can see they have a list of colors in fact so you can check and you can use multiple colors from this and then it also talks about the transparency that i told you earlier okay now also there are many sites for example there is one site called a color palette something like this if we search for it the first okay the color hunt you can call it and there are actually multiple sites that that will give you random colors for your next website right so if i click on this color hunt as you can see it gives us multiple combinations and we can directly just copy and paste for example i liked this green color just click on it it copied and now let's go back to the browser and here i'm going to paste the same one and as you can see we need to have a hash here and a semicolon and if i save it it becomes in that very color so here you can select multiple colors for your websites now here let me just choose any random color let's say this color let's see how this looks on our website if i save it yeah this looks better so you can check out these one i'll also have all the links related to the video topics in the description below you can check them out let me close this so we just talked about different types of colors that will be enough for this video in the next video we will learn about css backgrounds fonts and margin property so make sure to subscribe to the channel hit that like button and i will see you in the next video